York, I'm going to ask you this question because I talked to Caden Helms last night, and I, I want to talk more about this with you specifically as time goes on because I feel like you know the city of Omaha well. Um, N- Nebraska's not going to get Caden Helms. He left Nebraska out of his top ten. I'd be really surprised if Nebraska got Mike Riley Ducker. I don't anticipate that happening. They won't get Devin Jackson. They won't get Deshaun Woods. Last week, Hunter Salas turned down Creighton, which is a better basketball program in Nebraska, but he also turned down Nebraska. Uh, Chucky Hepburn's going to Wisconsin. Avante Dickerson went to Oregon. Um, You got a lot of really high-profile athletes leaving the city of Omaha, leaving the state of Nebraska, and turning down Nebraska and, as it relates to basketball, Creighton, to go somewhere else. Why? Well, I, I think it's a, I think it's a complicated answer, and, and I disagree that I have any more insight into it than you do. Um, but, but I, I really get the sense that when you and and I, I, I say this as a rural Nebraskan uh, at heart, who Lincoln was the center of, you know, was the uh, was sort of the, the spiritual center of the state athletically when I was growing up. Okay, so. When you when you grow up in Rising City, uh, you know Memorial Stadium and the Bob Devaney Sports Center are big big deals. Yep. But we've now been through a generation, um, twenty years, where Nebraska basketball and football have been largely irrelevant, uh, at least nationally. And I think the if if you grow up in Omaha and those programs are not successful, they're just isn't much separating the appeal of Husker athletics from Iowa or Minnesota or Wisconsin or Gonzaga. I mean, it's just that there's a, there's a little bit of a, of a geographic divide, I think in the state where, um, you know, uh, again, prone to clunky metaphor here, but, but if you are if if you're you know at a dining room table, and and everything is sliding toward one end, um, you know, if you're in Kearney or Grand Island or Lincoln, uh, you're very aware of Omaha at one side of the table. If you're in Omaha, and the table's going the other way, you don't even necessarily pay attention to Lincoln or Grand Island or Kearney. Um, and I feel like that's kind of where things are right now, where. Kids in Omaha, because Nebraska hasn't been successful, because Nebraska hasn't always emphasized or prioritized or gone out of their way to make Omaha kids feel like they are the recruiting priority, and not just the kids, but the the personal trainers and the instructors and the high school coaches, um, it, it just doesn't feel like Omaha cares that much about Lincoln, uh, cares that much about the University of Nebraska. Um and, you know, I, I think the, the Cluster Johnson example is really, really probably the best illustration of it. You know, there's, there's a kid there that is clearly a, a, an excellent prospect. Uh, his dad went to the University of Nebraska, and he just decides, eh, th- that school doesn't mean anything more to me than the University of Iowa, you know. And it, it comes back to winning games, you know, if you're not successful – um, there, there is a little bit, there's a cultural divide here between Omaha and Lincoln. And, uh, if, if you grew up in this city and, and Nebraska athletics is not winning games, there just isn't that much drawing you there. Yeah. I think that's some, I think there's some, some truth to that. Um, the winning piece is important. Caden Helms, the one sentence that stands out, he's like, I'm just kind of burned out on Nebraska. And he didn't mean that he didn't mean Nebraska University. He meant the state. 